Hey, Joy Blue here, and today I want to talk about the SQL date comparison, how to filter date time in SQL Server. Well, um, you might think, it, how, how hard can it be? You simply put it in the where clause. Well, there's, there's a little trick to it, and uh, I want to show you that. So let's first take a look at the employee table. So I'm going to select everything from the employee table. And in particular, I want to look at the higher date column. So on the higher date column, um, you can see that uh, we don't really have a time on there, and that's going to be very significant. But I want to bring back just the person that's hired or any of the people that are hired on February 22nd of 2005. So in order to do that, I need to go in here and actually put on a little filter. So I'll say where hire date equals, and then I want to say um, uh, 02 for February 22nd, 2005. And so let me execute that, and I pulled back the record. But now the real question is, what happens if we have a time attached to this date? Because in, in SQL Server, there's, you know, this, this can be, is a date time, so there's a date and a time. So let me go in and make that happen. So I'm going to go in and edit the top 200 rows. There's only like nine rows in this table, or a few more. And I'm going to find my record here. And... I am going to put some time on there. So maybe he was hired at 8 in the morning. 8.22. And 25 seconds. Okay, so I update that record. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to rerun this query. And I don't get the record. So this is where the actual problem is, and this is why I'm doing the video, is how do you pull back everybody that was hired on that day when you have a column that actually has the time on it also? And there's a couple of tricks to doing that. Um, let's start with using a uh, between filter. So basically what we could say, instead of using between, we could say where hire date is bigger than or equal to 2-22-2005 and then we can say and higher date is less than 2 20, 23 2005 and so <clears throat> what this is really saying is um, well let's, let's run it first and then I'll tell you what it's really saying um, what it's really saying is let me grab this out it's really saying that that we want everything bigger than this. Zero, 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 zero. And then we want everything less than this. So that is what, well, I need to fix this part too, sorry. So the previous query actually was saying this here. It was saying we want the higher date bigger than or equal to um, February 22nd, 2005 at zero seconds into the day. And then we want it less than um, February 23rd, 2005 at zero seconds. So that pulls back our record. And then there's a couple other ways to do it, which I don't really want to show you. Um, but here I'll pull over the a screen. This is from... Uh, oh, this is from what is it stack overflow and somebody asked the same question so there's a couple different ways to do it they said one is the best fastest way so you have to worry about performance if you're on a big database and the fastest way would be to use the date add, add function um, and let me go ahead and just show you how to use that real quick and so to use the date add function you would actually come in and, and uh, I just copied that and I'll leave it. I have a link in the description for it. Um, I would put higher date instead of get date here, you put higher date in and you say where it's equal to your date. And so here is that query. And so let's see what happens when I run that. And what did I do? Where date add. Is it, did I not copy everything? Sorry, let me go back here. See if I copied everything. Um, 
that syntax is not correct, is it? This person has the syntax right. So let me go back. Let's do that one more time. So toss the higher date in there. Equal to, there we go. And so this is what they say is the fastest way to do it. Um, and this, this basically what it's doing is the date diff, it's going out there and saying from the zero time, so that's the beginning of time, to the current date, how many days is that? That's what that DD means. And so however many days that is, um, which we could actually get if we wanted to by describing it here. Let me pull this out also. So there's 38,403 days since the beginning of time for this date. And that date is actually February 22nd of 2005. And so then it says, well, I want to take the difference. I'm sorry, then it says I want to add that many days onto the beginning of time. So basically this strips out the, the time portion of the date time. And then it does the comparison. Now, the reason they say this is fast is because they get into how it talks about floats and you're not converting to strings and all these different things. But um, that would be the fastest. But there is a special technique that you can use now in 2008 and 2012 because they actually have a new data type. They have a type that's a date and they have a type that's a time and they have the date time. So they only used to have the one that's the date time together, but now they have a date data type. So what we can do with that, let's pull this out and let's, let's redo that. So, so in order to do the data, um, the one for the, the new date data type, we simply go in and get, get this cast function. Um, let me pull this back and we basically, let me get rid of this other stuff. I'll give you a good query. And we need our higher date in here. So now we simply cast it as a date and that will take the time off of it. So let's see how that works. We don't need this little thing up here anymore either. Clean up our query. So that's a nice clean query. Execute that. And you can see that works also. So those are really the different ways of doing it um, in order to go get a date that also has a time involved. Um, I would suggest if you're in 2008 or 2012 SQL Server to use this last way. Um, it's the fastest and easiest way to do it. So as always, if you find this helpful, please leave a comment below, click the like button, or subscribe to my channel. You can also visit me at sqltrainingonline.com and I hope you enjoyed this free video.